scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. Now, as you know, I'm in hospital, getting my legwork done. All the lovely metalwork being removed, but that's not important, because I thought I'd share my time with you. It's a fairly noisy ward, so bear with me. I'm sure you mind me spending a little bit of time with you. Now, today, I'm going to be talking about Mission to Magnus which is number two in the Lost Stories boxed set. Well, I say box set, available range, you know. Now, these came out when my daughter was born, and at the time I just kept reviewing the original main ranges and a few other things around, but I managed to miss out the Lost Stories completely. Mission to Magnus is one of those stories a bit like last time's Nightmare Fair that I'd heard about but never actually got around to reading because it was available to novelisation or in fact tracking down the script. I just kind of knew roughly that it had Sill, it had the Ice Warriors, that was kind of it. Now sometimes when you're listening to the main range you think oh yeah this seals are really of its time. It's captured the moment. But you know what, when you hear something like this It's so definitively of its time. It feels so 1985 that it makes you go, ooh, I wouldn't have done it that way. But that's because this is an archive piece. Interestingly enough, this isn't being written from the original storyline. It hasn't been written from the original scripts at all. The artist, the author, couldn't actually find the original scripts anywhere. What they've done is they've adapted their own novelization. Philip Martin has taken his own book and turned it back into a script. So, in many respects, this is a backdoor novelisation adaptation. And as such, you've got a lot more leeway. There were things wrong with TV Doctor Who. There always has been and there always will be. But that's fine. Yes, I prefer Big Finish. You already know all this. You don't need me to go on about it any more than I already do. But this is definitely a document of its time. Mainly the thing that shows it up is the sort of sexual politics that you find in episodes of Toast. Stuff that you go, oh, I suppose it was all right then, but then again, even now, I'm not sure you would be able to get away with this sort of storyline. You see, the whole thing takes place on what I can only describe as the planet of the women. It doesn't have the feel that is polished that we're so used to with Big Finish. I can be more negative about this, I suppose, because of what it is. Let's have a read of the synopsis, and then we'll be able to talk about it. The Lost Stories Adventures, adventures that were originally written for Doctor Who television series, but never made, now available, now available here for the first time. The Doctor and Perry face enemies at every turn on the planet Magnus. There is a Time Lord bully, Anzo, who made the Doctor's life hell during his time at the Academy. There's also Rana, the matriarchal ruler of the planet, who seeks to prize the secrets of time travel from these alien visitors. Also on Magnus, there's the slug-like Sill, still bitter from his defeat on the planet Varos, and seeking to make his fortune from the most potentially destructive ends. And deep within the planet there is something else, an old enemy of the Doctor's, and the future is looking decidedly colder. Now this is directed by Lisa Bowman, who's done a sterling job of bringing an old piece of writing back to us. Yes, this is interesting because, like I said, it's the sexual politics that just shows this up for being of its time. It's a planet of women where they keep the men underground. Yes, there's a whole talk of a whole virus that wipes them all out. But you know what? You start thinking, well, is it a real virus? 
Is it just propaganda to keep people in their place, which is kind of how it feels? And everyone believes it. And then there's a culling of the young men because they just want to keep a certain type breeding and available. And then there's an end sequence where they talk about falling in love at the drop of a hat. It's the sort of thing that we were used to and we kind of put up with on TV that we're just not willing to do now. Whether it's a brilliant story or not, I just can't say, well, all right, I can. It's not great. But it is worth having because it's a document. It's something we didn't have because it's from the missing season, that 18-month hiatus where Doctor Who was almost cancelled and taken away from us. So would I rather listen to this than Doctor in Distress? Without question. But will I be listening to this again? I don't know. Because we're so used to the new Ice Warriors that we've had on TV that when you listen to this you can almost see the polystyrene ice. We know it's a very small world because there are, well, they can walk to the polar regions. It's little things like that that put you off. But, you know what? I can forgive it many things because of what it is. So with that, I'll play you the trailer and let you decide for yourself. And I'll sit back and wait for the surgeon to call. So until next time, be seeing you. On the 2nd of September 2017, Hooverville 9 will be with us. William Russell, the man who was Ian Chesterton and still is on Big Finish. Carol Ann Ford, Susan, the Doctor's granddaughter. Nicola Bryant, Perry. Toby Haydock, DVD Extras Man and everyone's favourite racist barman. Jessica Martin, Fraser Hines, Ah Jamie, Phil Ford, Michael Pickwood, Philip Hinchcliffe and Matthew Dale are just some of the names who'll be appearing at Hooverville, the biggest little Doctor Who convention ever. Visit hooverville.org to get tickets. See you then. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Doctor Who The Lost Stories. Mission to Magnus. Oh, this is where the evolved live. Where the wonders are, the magic, the knowledge of a thousand years of time travel experience. Does not disruption, destruction, the bloodshed of war between two worlds merit intervention from the Time Lords? No, it doesn't. Doctor, we're not on our own. Look. Another TARDIS? You still are not to be trusted. You must join the rest for execution. I am to die? No more, sin. No! This TARDIS has moved us forward in time. We are seeing Magnus as it will be in the future. Devastated. Blasted. Destroyed. Doctor, you have thwarted our plans before, have you not? Once or twice. I... Rather like to do it again. At last we triumph. At last our race has a home. Now we can arise and conquer. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast. Available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. <laughs>